Fall to politics, a holiday meal can quickly turn into a family feud. WGEM Missouri Capitol Bureau reporter Hannah Falcon spoke with a social worker about how you can handle family differences during the holidays. We're out here every day. Some people have no problem letting others know what they think, like Mark Hyam and his fellow protesters holding signs on the corner of the street in downtown Columbia, asking others to speak out against the war in Gaza. Difficult conversations are difficult. We, we do talk with lots of people. But for those who aren't as comfortable sharing opinions, this time of year can be difficult. Whether you're happy or sad about the results of this month's election or the state of the world, someone else is feeling the exact opposite. And you just might have to share a meal with them very soon. You want to be prepared um, ahead of time so that you are taking care of yourself and your own well-being. Dr. Rebecca Fries is a licensed clinical social worker. She tells me many people have been dealing with a roller coaster of emotions as they process recent elections and headlines. At this point, regardless of what's happening outside in the environment, it's time to take care of ourselves. If you find yourself stuck at a holiday dinner when an uncomfortable or controversial topic comes up, Freeze has a couple suggestions. First, find a safe person, someone who has the same perspective as you or won't judge you. Second, talk about something else, drowning out the uncomfortable noise. If all else fails, do some deep breathing. You can do that while you're sitting down. Nobody's really looking at you. Nobody's really thinking about what you're doing. Freeze says it's important to talk to a trusted friend or professional about how you can handle an awkward situation so you keep your cool once you're there. If people will take some time for themselves and have a safe space to talk, then maybe they can be prepared for what might come. If your emotions get the best of you, don't be afraid to reach out for help. You can always find help calling the Mental Health Hotline 988. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, WGEM News.